Fuck. I'm satisfied, man. Shout out to Test Technologies. Link to their Alibaba store in my, my bio. I mean, in the fucking description. I'm gonna drop a link to this store in the tent. Mella. Here it came from. Don't forget the pro tip. Got to crumble your paper up. This I can just dump it straight from the top. See how clean and easy that is? I just made my whole world an experience. Just but dark, like blunt down. Crazy right now, they probably want these. This is definitely moistened and distilled in paper. And then you take the end, shake it so that you use uh, hemp papers or like you have them. It stayed pretty dry, no matter how the you know what I mean? Everything just... Yes, sir. Mm. This is that we Mm. I ain't smoking nothing else, man, but the melon papers. What about my mother? Mm. See my papers. <laughs> I was like, I thought you said that was cool. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> There's your paper in here first, if you want to. Here. Paper at the end. Just dump it right there. But yeah. So the scrunchies. And they let me choose the scrunchies. Ooh. No. I kept adding water and I should know. Oh, it's hard. What's good? It's a new day. And I'm down to my last box. I mean, my last two papers in this first box. Sold damn near like 15 of them yesterday. Oh, shit. So today, I'm heading out to the smoke shops. I'm gonna see if I can shop them around, see who wants to buy a couple of them, put them into their stores. And uh, hopefully this goes well. You do you know what that means? I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> He's like, that means it's the whole US. I'm pretty sure that doesn't mean it's the whole US. That's what I'm trying to say. I see it, it already happened in Alabama, Texas. From what I understand with federal, it means that each no, state he said has Supreme their own Court. choice. He said a Supreme Court. On my own terms? What'd they say about it? Like, I'm gonna put it on live, we're about to listen to it. I don't think a law is gonna Babe, you don't understand affect Connecticut. Just... I don't think it's gonna affect Connecticut. I'm pretty sure Connecticut is like completely choice. Your reproductive freedom, cause but beyond domestic or global. When we have had what deadly fear. This? this cruel ruling is outrageous and heart wrenching. But make no mistake, again, 50 years proclaimed a constitutional right. Were they not telling the truth then? Again. On a happier note, yesterday we celebrated 50 years of Title IX, which has transformed equality and opportunity. Issue uh, in the midterm elections, or hoping it will be an issue in the midterm. 
So, I'm at my first store today. I'm in Hamden at Tobacco King. Didn't plan on going here at first, but I've been here before, so might have a good chance of running into like the owner or manager, maybe even just giving my number out or something like that. We're gonna figure it out. So the guy took my number down. And he seemed interested also. He says he has stores in New Haven. Okay. So he took my number down and you know what I mean maybe if he thinks about it he'll call me and I can get some some boxes sold to him. So we can go down the street now. Of course. Okay. Yo OG, you need some rolling papers? I got my own brand of rolling papers. Do you need rolling papers? No, I'm Oh, okay. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> yo. Yo. <laughs> the skip, the hop, the skip. Like, she really playing hands on this nigga, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, so now we're going to Slow Puffs. Um, my boy, Loda. Uh, introduced me to one of his friends yesterday and they work at the smoke shop so hopefully he's there and he can put in a good word for me and they might buy some today you know what I mean right here at this moment otherwise I'll just drop my number off and leave it with them I need a business card I need business cards that's what I'm noticing you know what you know? should do leave your sticker the back of it not make it a sticker but leave it the way it is and yeah. put your information on that keep it uh, the same like oh yeah yeah, yeah that same, same shape yeah. yeah that's fire I'm with that We're gonna have to come back, but it seems like it's definite. You know what I mean? It might actually. <laughs> oh, I don't need to back up that much. Shout out where your mics. Best sandwiches in Hamden. All right. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. Fairhaven. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Here with the papers. Hey, how you doing? Are you the manager here by any chance? Oh, okay, I was selling rolling papers. I have my own brand of, huh? Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. He suggested I go to G Mart. That's actually my home corner store. That's where I really reside. I gotta go to Lombard Deli too, actually. Let me just. All right, we at, we at G Mart. Fairhaven's favorite corner store. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm looking for the manager because I'm selling rolling papers. I have my own brand of rolling papers. Uh, I'll just show you them. You don't have to buy them. But. You sample, give me, and you, you give your address. Then my owner is coming. He will contact you. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Papers, you get tips, okay. and then it's a rolling tray. Okay. Can't run into any managers today. Ain't none of the bosses working today. Friday, they're right. going on Monday. You asked them when they're coming? Nah, he took my number though. Um, what's it called? Somebody told me there's a spot on Whaley that they, the, man, the manager's like there often because he actually owns it, like. <laughs> Yeah, I feel you on that. All right, does this thing look funny in my chest? <laughs> I was gonna go behind him. Thank you. Y'all don't need rolling papers, do you? Rolling? Yeah, rolling papers. I got my own brand of rolling papers. Comes with the tray, tips. How much for that? Five dollars a pack. I do two for eight. Yeah, tips, tray, all that. Five dollars, right? Yeah, I appreciate it. 
Thank you. I'm already black, John. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. I want to know why. Work, man. Definitely. Right. Happy Father's Day, too. Appreciate it, bro. Oh, so you've been staying at your baby mama, huh? Y'all want to support him? He's selling rolling papers. Yeah, I got my own brand of rolling papers. $5. $5 for rolling papers. I got them in bulk, too. It's okay. My name's Daquan, though. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Some people in there bought some. The store manager didn't want me though. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna make my most sales like in person. Like I feel like me just telling people that I got them and them being surprised is gonna get me more money than anything. When I brought up the fact that I have my own brand of rolling papers, they was like, yeah, they was like black man, you know what I mean? They told me happy Father's Day and all that shit. Like, what? <laughs> I guess I look like a father, but I want all your kids. Look at that, that could have been us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's good? It's Ali the Man. We're here on Whaley Avenue at JJ Smoke Shop. I'm leaving. A packet of the is here. Come grab them. Let them know that you fuck with them. Definitely give them some reviews and tap in with me ASAP. Thank you again, bro. At the Hamden Smoke Shop. Gonna see what we can get out of this. Bless you. Bless you. I'm here at King Smoke Shop in East Haven. Come through, grab some of the Mellows packs ASAP. Let them know how they are. Let them know how they're smoking. Come back with some reviews, please. Thank you again, man. You're welcome. This time, yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. You bought some? How much? The box. For 50? 30. Caption, live footage of me getting robbed at the gas station. <laughs> Alright, so, just a little recap. We went to about seven stores. Um, four of them have Namella packs in them right now. Uh, not every single one of them bought the boxes. Some of them I just left them there so that they can get a trial run and see how they go. But... It turned out pretty well. So, Hamden Smoke Shop, which is one of the stores that just took a box as a trial, uh, they ran out of papers already. <laughs> they got a full box in 24 hours and pretty much all the papers are gone. Uh, what's it called? Bully, a rapper from New Haven that's out here, uh, just happened to be in Hamden Smoke Shop today, this morning, and called me to let me know that they was running out. And the owner hopped on the, the camera and the FaceTime and was like, yo, come through. Uh, we got to get you some barcodes. We going to figure it out, blah, blah, blah. So this could be a consistent thing. You know what I mean? People are like really smoking the hell out of these papers. Like, and they love them. It's not even like they're just fucking with them because they're popular. They're not fucking with them just because it's something new to try. Like these papers are actually going to have people sticking to them and coming back to them because, man... The reviews I'm getting, like everybody's talking about how they burn so slow, they it's so smooth, you know what I mean? Like throughout this whole experience, I never really knew how to market myself to corner stores and stuff like that. But when I did go into JJ Smoke Shop, uh he kinda like corrected me on how I was approaching him. Like not in a rude way, but he was like, bro, how are you going to sell this? And you don't really know how to talk about it. And you don't really know what it's made out of and all that shit. So, like, instantly at that point, I changed my whole approach and started going into the stories differently. So, um, it didn't really show in the video. 
you can't really see the the change of how I started approaching people because I stopped recording pretty much at the end and would just only do the recording of them already buying it. But I just wanted to say that it's important to have a good approach when you're doing this type of thing. Um, know what you're selling and be able to explain it more than what you expect people to ask. You know what I mean? Like he, the, the guy at JJ Smoke Shop wanted to know like what the papers were made out of and what manufacturer I used. And yeah, you know I mean, it's not none of his business, honestly, but having at least an answer to those questions would have had me in a better position. And you know, I mean, he still took the papers, but just, you know what I mean? That type of thing is important as well. So that's the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe, drop some comments below. Let me know if you need some help starting a brand. Uh, tell me some of the, the troubles that you've been through. And if you tried Namella papers, drop a comment and tell people how it is. Thank you again. It's the man.